Have you ever wondered why so many serious projects around the world use STM32 microcontrollers? These chips, made by ST Microelectronics, are part of a huge family of 32-bit ARM Cortex M processors. They combine high performance with low power consumption, and most of them run on just 3.3 volts, which makes them ideal for portable and embedded systems. Unlike simpler boards like the classic Arduino, STM32s can run at tens or even hundreds of megahertz and pack in a huge range of peripherals such as multiple UART, SPI and I2C interfaces. High resolution timers, fast ADCs, USB, CAN and even DMA for moving data in the background without loading the CPU. There are many STM32 families, each aimed at a different purpose. At the entry level you have the F0 or G0 series, perfect for cost sensitive projects. The F1 and F3 series are more capable, with the F3 line focusing on better analog performance. For high-end processing, the F4, F7 and H7 families offer powerful cores and extra memory. If low power is your priority, the L series chips can run for years on a coin cell. And if you need wireless, the WB series includes Bluetooth and Zigbee, while the WL series integrates Subjigar's radios for LoRa and similar protocols. When it comes to the development boards, you'll typically find three types. The first are simple boards like the Blue Pill or Black Pill, which are cheap but require an external programmer such as an ST-Link to upload code. The second are some discovery boards that come bundled with a separate ST-Link programmer. These work fine, but older ones may not be directly supported in STM32 Cube IDE. Instead, you might need to use another tool called a ST-Link Utility. And finally, there are official Nucleo boards which include modern ST-Link debuggers built right in, giving you a plug-and-play experience with no extra hardware needed. Programming STM32s is usually done in STM32 Cube IDE, a free tool from ST that combines code editing, compiling, flashing and debugging. Inside it is CubeMX, which lets you visually configure your chip's pins, clock settings and peripherals. Once you are set up, the tool automatically generates C or C++ code using HAL drivers, so you can start coding right away. You can step through your code line by line, inspect variables, set breakpoints and even view hardware registers in real time, something you can't do with a basic Arduino setup. But the real reason people choose STM32 is flexibility. They are fast, efficient, well supported and designed to scale from tiny low-cost boards to a powerful high-end MCUs. And that's why STM32 has become the go-to choice for so many engineers and makers worldwide. And that's it, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe and here are some other videos you might enjoy.